team switch sides and get ready to go. Period two action from the Menon Arena in Morristown, New Jersey. Thunderstruck is the song and that might go well for the mindset of the New Jersey Colonials. Condors, not much of a track record. Having only played two games as an 06 organization, this being the second right now. New Jersey, a very well-known organization. Music continues as we play on. 45 seconds remaining in the Condors power play as finally the sound system shuts off. Offside at the line to begin the period against Connecticut. Off the draw, in comes Condors. This puck dribbles in. It was loose for a few seconds off Doherty's shot, but it's now covered up. Blake Burke on the draw. This is Doherty to the line. Burke, D to D. Murphy with space. He shoots, scores! It got redirected. Murphy finds Twine, and it's 3-0. Power play goal for the Condors. It might have hit a stick of one of the Connecticut players. It might have hit a stick of one of the New Jersey players. For now, it is Murphy's goal. Lupo shot finds the glass. Doherty out man down low. Coming in now is both Burks to help out. Doherty. This is Blake Burke. Burke shot. Missed wide of Torlucci's cage. Backhanded to the goal. This is Doherty now behind off Lupo's rebound. Blake Burke. Condor's pressuring here early. Burke breaking ankles out in front, he scores! It's Mason Lupo and it is four. Goodness me, what a play by Blake Burke to set up Mason Lupo in front of the cage. And it's a sizable lead for the Connecticut Condors with two early here in the second period. Puck dumped in by the Colonials off the faceoff. Feinstein is back. Condors break out now, three on two. On the right side, Appet just couldn't drag his way through and now away come the men in white. Left side, backhand shot to the goal, Miss Petrozzi. Puck in the center, block, rebound, loose. Uh, it was there in front of Petrozzi's cage. Puck still not out. High shot from the line. Glove save is made in the basket of Nick Petrozzi, who holds on. That was our first real flash of some colonial offensive action. And it comes uh, maybe 17 minutes too late. To and the second period. Still a lot of game left. Let's not let that get out of mind. Condor is playing extremely well, though. Certainly improvements were made upon their last game, which was a 5-0 win against the Central Capitals, which they were held scoreless for the first two periods. This is Janolfi missing the pass. Puck held into the line. D to D, one-timer along the ice which was blocked aside. Brandon Chen is leading up the ice as Baxay marches ahead. This is Baxay, forced to the outside, inside, backhand shot, blocked aside. Gavin for New Jersey on the right side. Murphy nearly took it away, but Gavin's still going. Shot goes into the corner. 
Forced up and ahead, now Baxay again. Here comes Blake Baxay, he's got room. Baxay's in, couldn't get the shut off. Good defense by New Jersey's Toy. In low, this is Doherty. Luke Doherty is spinning to the line. Condors are changing. This is Corpy, flips one through traffic. Puck is loose in the slot. Blake Burke couldn't get a stick on it. Through traffic now. Corpy's shot and a save was made. Feinstein coming in. Feinstein still centers out in front. No one was home. Here comes New Jersey. Chance for a two on one. Feinstein the only guy back and he wouldn't be beat. Back the other way come the Condors. End to end action. And in the middle, shot got tip tied in the glove of Tolucci. Eleven oh three to go. Period two. Condors have added to their lead, and it's four to nothing. Off the draw, right to the goal, and Torlucci does the safe thing and covers up. <laughs> Off the draw. Kelly for the Colonials. Right in front of us. Still couldn't clear the zone on that ninth rush. Now he will out to neutral territory and goes. Right side, Burke trying to step in. He did. It's a four on one in the zone and Burke's shot got blocked. Back the other way come the Colonials. How about that? It was a four on one, just generating inside the zone. And the Colonials defender, the one, got the best of all the collective contours on the ice. Offside is called at the line. Clock is running. Here as teams change in the stoppage. And now it is finally stopped after he lost about six seconds of game time. If not more. Off the draw, here come the Condors. Left side. This is Chalikov down in deep. Abbott for Chalikov waiting. Centering out in front, puck is there. Abbott, Fradkin, balls of them digging away. And in the end, it is the Colonials who clear the zone. Murphy in his own end, stopping up behind his cage, looking over his options, and then finding Fradkin on the far side. I'm sorry, that was Abbott. My bad, at number 11, not number four. Here come the Colonials now. In deep is the puck. Centered off a leg. And now Murphy will regain control. This is Chalikov up to the line. Back in deep though is Colonials. Murphy tries the other side for the Condors. Abbott ahead. He did clear the zone. Not much further than center ice though. They still battle away for it there before it's sent in meekly. Now a shot comes through that kind of handcuffed Petrozzi and he made the save of the pad. Condors get it out again. The ping pong action starting to set in as Condors and Colonials just whack it in and out of the zones. About halfway through the game right now. Condors will change as the puck goes in deep. This is Toy, fell down. His uh, teammate was there to bail him out and get it out of the zone. Still going now, left side, where it is shot in around the wall. Fine He's got it. Dan Ginolfi on the right side, airs it out to center ice. 
tried to lead back Faye, who was caught up at center. Here come the Colonials, another takeaway. Condors are back. Feinstein, Ginolfi, and then in. Back safe pressuring on the puck. Chen is up there too. Sent up off the wall and then out. This is Baxay. Blake Baxay pushing his way into the slot and then shooting it high. Chen, Ginolfi tried to center. Baxay wasn't there. Chen took a hack at it, got it back. Shot came through with a good screen and it just missed wide. Baxay sharp angle off the outer mesh. Baxay got it back to the line. Feinstein back in deep. Luke Doherty's in there deep on for Chen now. Colonials regain the puck in their own zone. They can they get it out is the question. Off the stick of Feinstein and just barely out of the zone. And capitalizing off that, here comes New Jersey. Thrown in below the goal line and now rattled along the wall. Players battle away for it. Here's a turnover. Corpy. He'll get it in. Blake Baxay is pressuring and the turn out of the way of that slap shot. And the Colonials are away to the left side. Hard shot and a calm, cool, and extremely collected save by Nick Petrozzi. Unfazed by anything as the Colonials make their goaltender switch. This would usually be the time that the Condors do the same, but LJ Pilo is a no-show tonight. But Nick Petrozzi has been playing out of this world on the minimal number of shots he's seen. Just very nonchalant uh, as a backbone of a team should be. This is Gavin, he lost an edge and the Condors will take over. Maybe not, gained back into the middle. Shot got blocked aside by Murphy Skate. Pushed up and now out. Lupo, here's Mason Lupo getting into the zone. Burke, few starter staff, pulls the trigger on a save made of the gloves. First shot of the night comes early for the new Colonials goaltender. Fradkin is on the draw versus Falk. Fradkin won it, having some trouble, and then lost it to Falk. Here come the Colonials on the right side. Thrown into the middle, that pass connected, and no shot came. We're going to have a penalty here as it was a little bit of an unruly collision down low. Didn't look purposeful. But we will have Gavin Corpy going to the box. For what I assume is checking. Condors will make changes in order to send their penalty cuning unit, which will See, it's first action of the night. Right here, five on four for two minutes. Pushed on around the wall. Let's see if this can maybe jumpstart the Colonials with less than half the game remaining. Shot from the line, deflected in the corner. That pass fanned upon down low. Jumping upon it is Feinstein, Feinstein, who will just get it out. And then some more for Baxay. It's a two on one with Chen. Baxay waits, shot, and a save was made. Chen was unable to get the juicy rebound. And the puck will come outside the zone where it is Murphy regrouping. Throwing it off the wall is Murphy. Counterattack is flushed in. 
by New Jersey. That was a well-aimed shot by Blake Baxey. He was trying to get that rebound off the blocker for Chen, and he did it well. But Brandon Chen was unable to get it as it came. Lightning speed off the blocker. We have an offside now against the Colonials. Less than four minutes remain in period two action. In which uh, the Condors lead four to nothing. Those three extra minutes do mean a lot. If you think about it, the Condors have scored two of their goals in those three extra minutes. Had they been playing 12 minute periods, it would probably be only one or two nothing. This is Janolfi turning. Sean goes right off the glass in front of us. Koptera will hop on it now. Up to the line, but not out. This is David Burke's shot, knocked down by Blake in front of the net. Puck is now cleared. Seems like the Colonials are on the penalty kill right now. That is not the case. They're a man up. Only for three more seconds, though, as the puck is dumped in. That should do it for the New Jersey two-minute-long power play, which has just expired. Back on the ice for Fradkin is Corpy, or uh, for on the ice for Corpy is Fradkin, as we now have a player down in the Colonial end. Colonials will seize the opportunity to regroup. Uh, didn't see exactly what happened. Just saw a player on the ice. That's where we stand. Silent mumble. Here at Menon Arena, that's what crowd noise is reserved to. Player Ginger will be getting to his feet now. Colonial player went hard into the wall. Don't know whether it was a hit or a lost edge. He's clutching his head, which is never a good sign. No penalty on the play. So five aside, it will remain. That's Koptera being helped off the ice. Kelly versus Fradkin on the draw. To the left of Enches Painter. Puck comes up to the line. Corpy just couldn't keep it in. This is Murphy now, and it poked off his stick. Offside called against the Colonials right in front of their own bench. 2.52 remaining. In a 15 minute long period number two. And the outcome, that's nine minutes of extra time. Which seems like an eternity. This is Murphy. Out in deep, Simeon Chalikov is there. Fradkin joining the battle. That is won by the Colonials. Murphy had it lost in his skates. His man still going in deep now. Around the net, puck centered. It is loose there, came through the crease. Petrity didn't know where it was. It's in the corner now. Colonials have it. Patient, centered. Puck was there and nobody could knock it home. Two minutes remain as Abbott shoots it in. And will go off for a change. Pirtle. Blake Baxay up pressuring. 
Chen comes in now, and it's two on two, three on two now, in which is won by the Condors. Puck centered right down in front for Ginolfi. This is Murphy. Dan Ginolfi just couldn't get a stick on Murphy's pass. Leo Murphy gets it back in deep, trying to center off a skate, or a stick, rather. Murphy just blew right by Gavin at the line, or down in deep, rather. Skated right by him. Ginolfi centered onto a colonial stick. Condor is working to get it back. That's Ginolfi doing a good job of it. Uh, tried to get it back to the line. Puck came out. Quickly back in now. Feinstein in the middle. Chen couldn't get a good shot on. This first line has been all over the ice tonight of Ginolfi Chen. And Baxay, who has it now? Baxay wrap around. And she got over and made a good stop. David Burke tried to carry it on in deep. That does not go for him. Up to center, regrouping his backseat. He finds an open man and finds Dean. Feinstein gets it in. More changes for the Condors as Luke Doherty's now on. He got outnumbered down low. This is Gavin now. Doherty hops on him. Gavin again. To the left side. This is Burke's trigger pull. Blocked aside. That's it, folks. Time runs out in period number two. Two in the first frame, two in the second, and it's 4 nothing Gondors.